गंगा तरंग रमणीय जटा कलापम गौरी निरंतर विभूषी तवाम भागम नारायणो प्रिय मनोंग मदा पहारम वाराणसी पुरापति भज विश्वनाथम वागीशजस्व वदने लक्ष्मीर्जस्व च वक्षसी यस्ते हृदय संबिहिंगमह भजे हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे विजित ऋषिक वायु विरदंत मुन स्थुरगम जयतंतमति लो लोम वायु किद व्यसन सतामृत समबहाय गुरोरण मनीज इवाज सतकृत कर्ण धरा जलुद विजित ऋषिक वायु विरदंत मुन स्थुरगम जयतंतमति लो लोम पाय किद व्यसन सतामृत समबहाय गुरोरण मनीय इवाज सतकृत कर्ण धरा जलध गौरव गोष्ठीपति श्रीशिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी जगत प्रभुपा परमंश जगत गुरु टोल सो लॉन्ग एज जीवात्मा नॉट गेटिंग दैट आनंद धर्म इन साइड देयर हार्ट टिल देन दे आर फीलिंग अनहैपी गौरव गोष्ठीपति श्रीशिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी जगत प्रभुपा परमंश जगत गुरु told that so long as jivatma not going to feel that ananda dharma inside their heart till then they are bound to feel unhappy no other way open ananda dharma mean ananda dharma mean atma dharma ananda dharma mean bhagavat dharma आनंद धर्म बीन आत्मधर्म आनंद धर्म बीन वैष्णव धर्म आनंद धर्म बीन जैव धर्म ऑल सेम सिनोनिम आनंद धर्म बीन भक्ति धर्म सो लॉन्ग एज भक्ति इज नॉट दे सो लॉन्ग एज वी आर नॉट वी आर नॉट ग्रोइंग द मूड ऑफ सेवा Till then, happiness cannot come. Like blind, we are searching happiness here and there. Blind man, you know. Blind man without information searching. Like blind man, we are searching where is happiness. But we cannot get. Why we cannot get? Because we are always. We are always. ready to accept the challenging mood we are always busy to accept challenging mood so if challenging mood is there if logic is there if you are going to take shelter of logic in that case that aprakita tattva i mean bhagavat tattva vaishnav tattva guru tattva can get vanished for me you like to see na you like to see by the help of your dirty eyes by the help of these eyes you can only see stool and urine woman man blood and flesh this you can see by the help of these dirty eyes you like to see guru vishnu that's why you are cheated you are always busy with challenging mood you are always busy with challenging mood challenging mood challenging mood mean logic logical interpretation
कैनट स्टैंड इन दे अफ दैट एबसुल्यूट ट्रुथ अप्राकृत वस्तु कबू प्राकृत को चन्म है अप्राकृत वस्तु कबू प्राकृत को चन्म है द डे वी कैन द डे वी कैन गेट फुल कृपा अफ गुरु वैष्णव द डे वी कैन गेट फुल कृपा अफ गुरु वैष्णव then automatically we feel disgusted with this material world automatically forcefully you cannot leave matter forcefully you can never go out of maya forcefully you cannot show forcefully you cannot show renouncement Forcefully, you cannot go. It's an automatic factor. If I am going to beat you, give you heavy punishment all the time, slap this that, I cannot. I cannot help you to develop bhakti because it's an automatic factor. External pressure, oppression. external strong rules and regulation is not sufficient to give you ananda dharma bhakti dharma it's an automatic factor it can develop inside your heart automatically by the mercy of pure guru vishnu automatically it can it's an automatic factor if you want to put pressure from today i can take prasadam one time only i can get up 3 o'clock i can do harinam 3 lakhs you can try you go write in your notebook and go i challenge you you can you can go and start you cannot do bonded soul sometime making some resolution well as chaturmasa vata from today i can do this after 5 days you can break the rules weak na wonder so weak not enjoying kripa weakness mean you think i am i going to mean physical energy i can fight you not that i am not going to speak that weak mean lack of kripa If you understand Bengali Kirtan, you perhaps you already heard. Kipa koro prabhu dia chid bol. Bhakti mein thau right hai na? Kipa koro prabhu dia chid bol. Or nayam atma bol hi nahi na labhya. You heard from Upanishad. Na ayam atma bol hi nahi na labhya. This atma tattva cannot be had. by those weak man very weak weak mean lack of kipa lack of chit bal lack of chit bal lack of chit bal then you cannot get na i am atma balahine labhya balahine na labhya na i am this atma atma tattva cannot be had by those foolish weak people in a day they can take resolution five time and they can break more than five times so your resolution as a bonded soul what value is there what is the value of my body what is the value of my energy what what is the value of my brain educational power what value no value na if you can feel that really so i am useless what is the value of my body what is the value of my you know man power money power what value because if i put challenge still i can come out failure otherwise elephant gajendra 
if the body power is all in all, a money power is all in all, eh, everything, then why Gajendra going to cry in front of Bhagavan? My question, elephant is the strongest creature in our creation at present. Previously, dinosaurs or can be there, but elephant. But that Gajendra is so powerful, you cannot imagine. In Bhagavatam it is written, when Gajendra going through that forest, all lion and all tiger, they fly, region there. That Gajendra, that elephant was no ordinary elephant. Maybe hundred times more powerful than elephant available here in our world. So, that it is written. When Gajendra going, then all elephant, lion, they are flying. And that Gajendra now crying in front of, in front of Bhagavan. And in front of Manamana, he is praying to Bhagavan. He is praying in front of Bhagavan. And that whole prayer of Gajendra is Vedanta. From starting to end, all the prayer of Gajendra is just Vedanta Sutra, nothing else. So nice. If somebody have full idea, money, full kipa of Vedanta Sutra, full kipa of Vedanta Sutra, he can realize. Now, Gajendra praying to Bhagavan, Bajendu speaking, Prabhu, not speaking Prabhu, indirectly speaking. Yatro jeno jato yasu yasmu yad yad jatha yada. He is not speaking, Ho Bhagavan, Ho Krishna, He Nar. Indirectly. Like in Vedanta, na? Eh? Like in Vedanta, what? Indication. Indication. Anandamaya bhyasat. What do you mean? Eh? Tannishthasya makhya padeshat. But you can understand if I speak. Yan madasya yato, if I speak. But you can realize, you realize anything. Because it is formula. Like mathematics, one formula is there. And that formula has some original reason. Otherwise, why, why from formula come? So, each and every formula, I mean, Sutra, Abhidanta, having its origin, original background, Bhagavat Tattva, I mean Bhagavan, Govinda, nothing else. So, Gajendra now speaking to Bhagavan, not speaking Bhagavan, but to Bhagavan is speaking. Gajendra speaking, Gajendra speaking, Gajendra speaking, Prabhu, do you think I am interested to protect my elephant body? Gajendra speaking, Bhagavan, do you think I am praying to you to protect my this elephant body? You think so? Not that. What I can do with this? What I can do with this elephant body? I am not praying to you to protect my elephant body. I am under the attack of that crocodile. But I am praying to you for my salvation. Salvation of my Atma. Body, what I can do? This elephant body. I can run here, get the association of sea elephant and banana trees I can eat. What I can do? Not for that. So we are making a blunder mistake. What is that? This body, mind, all material thing, we think me and mine. That is the main problem for why we cannot see Guru Vishnu. I cannot, surely I cannot say, surely I cannot say that kind of adversity I don't have, that there is no Guru Vishnu in the world. I cannot say this. That kind of adversity I don't have, that there is no Guru Vishnu in the world. I cannot see. If I am going to speak this way, then I am going to insult Bhagavan. If I am going to speak this way, 
then I am going to insult Bhagavan. This is one kind of allegation against the absolute power of Bhagavan. Bhagavan is so weak that Bhagavan even cannot keep one pure Guru Vishnu in the world. Bhagavan is so weak, so useless, that even Bhagavan cannot keep one pure Guru Vishnu in this world to guide us. That means Bhagavan is useless. It's same, no? If I say there is no Guru Vishnu, it is all the same. If I say Bhagavan is useless, cannot keep one. So surely, Jagannath can keep Guru Vishnu in this world. But we are blind, we cannot see. We are, we have some color, no? Different kind of color. We are have some particular ism, guru ism, follow, they have a society, different. That's why we cannot see. Surely, Shuddha Guru Vishnu is there, but we cannot identify them because we are blind. That is the main problem. So long as, I, I already told in the beginning, so long as we are we are going to apply our logic, then Guru Vaishnava Bhagavan, this Aprakita Tattva can get banished. Can get banished. They cannot come in front of me. Or if at all they are there, I cannot see. They can cheat me in such a way, so I can, they can cheat me in such a way that I can go back. I cannot realize. They can cheat me anytime. Why we want to be cheated? That's why Bhagavan, Guru Vaishnava. Many times I told this Siddhanta of Prabhupada that Guru Vaishnava Bhagavan can reserve the right of not being exposed to your sense organs. Guru Vaishnava can reserve the right of not being exposed to your sense organs. Not that I am intelligent, I am educated, I am. I can see what a man he is like, how much educated. This is not Guru Darshan. This is not Guru Darshan, we cannot see. Guru Darshan. This way, for infinity period, we can go up and down in course of our travelling through 14 worlds. Somehow, someday, we are luckily, we can meet with Main point, Pope was speaking, that if you give, if you are going to give your responsibility to me, 100%, try to understand what I mean. Pope was speaking, if you are ready to give whole response, your total response to me, then I can take your responsibility. Then otherwise I cannot take. You can hear Hari Gata, go away. You can go away. I am not good. I am not calling anybody. Never I call. So it is your desire, it is your choice to reject me and accept me. But one point sure, if you are not going to give oh whole response, your total response to me then I cannot take your response. Because if you are going to give me 90% responsibility, 10% lacking, that 10% can make you fall down. Not 10%, 0.001% lacking. Follow. 99.999%, 0.001% lacking. Within that, that is also dangerous. That is also dangerous. Maya can, Maya can enter through that hole and make you fall down. So that was the Siddhanta Vichara of Prabhupada. If you can give your whole responsibility to me, the day you can rely me 100%, that I can give 100% Mangal to you, then I can take your responsibility. Otherwise, I am not so foolish. I can take your responsibility. Follow this one. What to speak about pure bhajan? Life after life we are fighting with maya. 
to cut Maya. What to speak about pure bhajan? Tall talkings is not good. Tall talkings is not good. So, main point is that pure devotional practice, pure devotion is totally separate thing. And what we are busy with, that is totally separate thing. We are mixing. Totally separate thing. So, mixing procedure is not allowed. Mixing procedure is not allowed. We are fighting life after life to cut Maya. As if, as if to cut Maya is our topmost target. As if to cut Maya is uh, all, uh, almost a uh, final goal. Not that. We are so foolish, we think if we can cut Maya, and uh, successful. Not that. Not that. We think so. We think so. To cut Maya, to go, go out of Maya, we think oh, a yeah, big achievement. Not that. Eh? It's not big. It is a basic thing. After you come out of Maya, it is the most basic thing. I mean, now you have to start. But we think, we are doing bhajan, tilak, mala, everything, everything, so I got this. Like foolish, not that. It is not that. So, life after life, we are fighting with Maya. But to, but to cut Maya, I mean to go out of Maya, is very easy. But we have no information about that. You think I am speaking some false philosophy, not that. All solid background. What I realize that I speak. What I don't realize, I don't speak. To go out of Maya is very easy. But nobody inform us how to go. Nobody inform us properly. They are going to make some confusion in us. So that we cannot understand appropriate tattva, cannot appropriate, cannot approach a proper sadhu, so that we cannot know. So it is there, it is there, it is there, it is their habit to keep you in darkness. It is not the duty of Guru Vaishnava, it is not the duty of Guru Vaishnava to keep you in darkness. To dismantle this darkness, to dismantle Maya. Agyanati virandasya gyananjana salakya chakshurul mitam jeno tasme sugru But we have no information. So we are in confusion. At present, it is the standard of preaching. It is the general standard of preaching, Bhakti Muttag speaking. I can show you, if you like to see, Bhakti Mahatma was speaking in article, this is the general standard of preaching. They are not going to speak the absolute truth. Because they themselves have no information about their absolute truth. Because only if you are realized soul, then you can speak about your realization to someone. If you yourself is not a realized soul, how you can speak about your relation to everybody. You have no relation. No relation means false philosophy. But we have no time to hear false philosophy. We have no time. We have no time to attain false philosophy. This there. What you can do? We have no time. Only we are interested to know about the direct relation you have through parampara succession. That we are interested about. We are less interested to hear dry philosophy. Who care man to hear philosophy? We have no time to attend. We like to know your direct realization what you have. If you can share your 
if you can share your direct relation with somebody and who is 100% inclined unto the, unto the lotus feet of Guru Vaishnava, then he, your preaching is successful. I mean to preaching men, preaching men, preaching men, you will have to share your direct feeling. Preaching men doesn't mean I can, I can speak Bhagavad Katha, I have no memory, as so many is not that. Preaching doesn't mean I can memorize so many slokas, so many is I can speak in front of people. Not that. Actual meaning of preaching means whatever direct relation you have achieved through Guru Seva, direct Guru Seva, that we will have to share. And that Harikatha can put some impact inside the heart of inside the heart of that people, that man, or those men in front of you, you are going to speak. Of course, if they are sincere. If they are by chance coming to hear, I'm not speaking. If they are sincere already, they like to know, then your if preaching is effective preaching. Otherwise, your preaching is not effective preaching. So, actually, Prabhupada speaking, if somebody interested to give me his, his total responsibility, then I can take. If he has 100% faith in me, that I can protect him or her, then I can protect. Otherwise, I cannot. Because partial submission through, through the procedure, through the, through the procedure of partial submission, you cannot achieve success. Partial submission, you cannot submit success. This way, you can roll down, roll down life after life, this way. The sloka I started with is very important sloka. It is from Bhagavad Mahapuran 10th Canto, 87th chapter. 87th chapter of, you know, 10th Canto. It is Vedas Thuti. Vedas Thuti means just you know, the Chaturma Sabato starting, Bhagavan is going to take rest for four months. It is the philosophy there. Bhagavan actually not sleeping. Sleeping means Tamagun. Sleeping means Tamagun. Surely Bhagavan cannot have Tamagun. So Bhagavan can sleep. So what is the philosophy? Bhagavan is going to concentrate in his Yoga Maya. And going to close his eyes. It is called resting. So, those Shruti, Shruti means Vedas, the Shruti, they are going to pray in front of Bhagavan. That Bhagavan, it is impossible to go, go out of Maya. Just two minutes ago I was speaking, to get, uh, to get victory I cannot say. That much audacity I don't have. I can say, we can go out of Maya by the mercy of Guru Vishnu, this is hundred percent. I can put some guarantee because this is the confirmation of Bhagavatam and all Sastras. All. What is that? I told you many times, Rajas Tamascha Satyena Satyancha Upasamena Cha Etat Sarvam Guru Bhakta Purushohi Anjasa Jai. What is it? Rajas Tama say, you have Rajagun, Tamagun. Suppose you have Rajagun, Tamagun. So you will have to cut Rajatama with Shatta. Like Durga Ma, Durga Devi, you know. Asura is Tamagun. Asura is Tamagun, na? Asura is dominated by lion, who is Rajaguna. And on Rajaguna, Ma Durga standing. People think Ma Durga is uh, Rajagun, Tamagun, they are speaking, so many things. But those foolish people, if they bring their Chandi, Chandi, you know, Chandi part, you know, or you don't know. Before Durga Puja, Mahalaya, that, that time, there is some recitation of Chandi, one book. 
you bring that book, I can open and show you. They think Durga is Rajagun and Tamagun. But I can show them that it is written in Chandi that Durga, I mean Jogamaya, according to our conception, Vaishnav conception, is Jogamaya. The Jogamaya cannot be Rajagun Tamagun. Eh? Cannot be, no? Ananda, Ananda Mayo. It is written many times, it is written. Ananda Maya. Ananda Mayi. What do you mean, Ananda? You can, you can hear the Chandi party, I was here. Never hear. Why? From childhood we are hearing. Ya Devi Sarva Bhutishu Shakti Rupena Sangastita Namastha Sai Namastha Sai Namastha Sai Namo Namaha We are hearing. So many Sotra there. Many, many Sotra. I can show you that it is written Vishnu Shakti Paraprakta. We know one sloka. Here also. Here also, in Chandi, many times it is written. Vishnu Shakti. Many times. So Vishnu Shakti, Vishnu Shakti cannot be Tama. Vishnu Shakti, how? How Vishnu Shakti can become Tama? Not possible, no? So many sloka I can show you. So, Durga Devi, Shatagun, Shuddha Shato, Yogumaya, going to place her leg on lion, and at the same time, lion going to put his leg on Tamago. So what is the meaning? What is the meaning come? Here is Tama, Tama down, and up, lion is Rajagun. Rajagun going to dominate Tamagun. Follow. And after that, this way we'll have to. Follow. So Rajas Tamasya Satyeno Satan Chopasamino Cha Etat Sarvam Guru Bhaktya Purushohi Anjosa Jaya. Purushohi Anjosa Jaya. Anjosa mean this way. Anjosa mean this way. Very chutki. Very easy. In Bhagavatam it is Rajas Tamasya Satyeno Satan Chopasamino Cha Etat Sarvam Guru Bhaktya Purushohi Anjosa Jaya. Very easy. But whereas we are at bay. Oh, no way out. How to get out of Maya? Are you, to come out of Maya is a big issue for us. Life after life. But it is the basic point. If you are not out of Maya, then you cannot start Hari Bhajan. But people are going to misinform you. They are going to cheat you. If you are not out of Maya, you cannot say because Bhagavan is Bhagavan is transcendental realm. The staying standing on this material platform, standing on this material platform, how it is possible for me to serve that absolute? He is in a transcendental realm, no? So I will have to go up to that level. How to go? Many times I told the question of Parikhit Mahatma Sukhdev. Huh? Many times I told. Many times I told the question of Parikhit Maharaj to Sukhdev Goswami. Yeah, how it is possible that those who are worshipping Durga, Kali, Ganesh, Shankar, Surya, they, they are getting so many enjoyment, material enjoyment, so money, power, everything. Whereas those, whereas those who are worshipping Vishnu Tattva, they usually in skin chan. Then skin chan. They are not interested to get money, position, nothing. Why? Why so? Why so? There is the question. Many times. So actually, the sloka I started with is actually from 10th canto, 87th chapter, where Veda Stuti. Vedas are going to pray to Bhagavan at the time of Chaturmasa. It's called Swayan Akadashi. Swayan means sleeping. Swayan means 
Shayan means sleeping. So Swayan Akadu means sleeping Akadushi. Eh? Sleeping Bhagavan. And Uttan Akadu means Bhagavan get up. So those who are observing Chaturmasa from Swayan Akadushi up to Uttan Akadu, that is the procedure written in Bhagavan. Also, it is approved by our Guru Bhargava. Somebody can start from Dadashi to Dadashi. We are starting from Akadushi to Akadushi. Somebody is starting from Dadashi, next day of Akadashi, Dadashi to Dadashi. Somebody is starting from Purnamashi, I mean from today, Guru Purnima, up to Rasa Purnima class. Follow. This is the procedure. So there actually it is written, I mean, Veda Stuti speaking, Bijitori Sikha Bayo Viradanta Muna Sturagam Jai Ajatanti Yantumati Lola Mupayo Kito Vyasana Satam Rito Sama Bahayo Guru Charanam Banija Ivaja Santa Kita Karna Dharaja Lato. In gist, I am speaking, I am not going in details. There Stuti, Beda Stuti. Vedas, I mean Shruti, Shruti going to Stuti. Shruti means prayer and Shruti means Veda. Follow. Shruti means Veda and Stuti means prayer. So Shruti going to pray in front of Bhagavan. What is the prayer? Bhagavan, those who want to cross over your Maya, it is next to impossible. It is next to impossible. Why? Just like a mad elephant, just take just like a mad elephant. If you like to get control over that mad elephant, it is impossible. I have seen in football ground, that time I used to go there, follow, all mountain police, mad. They are going to kick. Those who are those those crazy public, then the mountain police is going to beat them. If there is fighting, you know, then mountain police, mountain police, they are riding on horse and going to beat you. So if some crazy horse is there, it is impossible to get control over crazy horse because if you try to get control over crazy horse, how you can get control? Crazy horse cannot allow to sit, can allow you to sit, ride, cannot. Then throw you and kick you by hoop, tuck. Then blood can come, and lungs can burst, and you can die. Yes, I've seen. Big fighting going on, football ground. Then mountain blue sky, I'm going to, going to get control over the crazy people fighting. Big place. So many people dying. So, Shruti, I mean those Vedas, they are praying in front of Bhagavan. Bhagavan, like it is impossible, like the case, it is impossible to get control over crazy horse. It's like that. Munosturagam. Mind can be compared with a crazy horse. Monasturagam. Sturag, sturag, sturag is, sturag is Sanskrit word. Turag mean, turag mean horse. Turag mean horse. So manas, manas turagam. Bhagavan, it is almost next to impossible to get control over this crazy mind which, which can be compared with a crazy horse. Manas turagam. Those foolish people, jaya, 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 those who want to, those who want to get control over this crazy mind, which can be, which can be compared with a crazy horse, their effort is futile effort, money useless effort, futile effort money useless effort. They can never come out. Bijito risik by bijito risik means. Those who like to get control over sense organ. 
Those who like to get control of a sense organ and mind, to get control of a sense organ and mind is possible only in devotional line. Even this yogis, gyanis, they cannot put guarantee. Hear me with full attention. Those yogi, gyan, those yogi, gyani, they can get control over mind and sense organ, but not not hundred percent. There is no guarantee. There is no guarantee. Yogi, gyani, a kormi, kormi, we cannot put any guarantee about. Karma yoga is okay. Big, big, you know, those uh, Rajarsi, Maharshi, they are trying anyway. So, it's uh, almost impossible. Those who are successful to get control over their sense organ and mind, surely they are Jitendriyo. Jitendriyo. Jitendriyo means? They have, the sense organ can never put them in trouble. Those sense organ, those your sense organ can never put you in trouble. They are like trained, they are like trained dog, you know? Trained dog, hey, sit. sit. Hey, go. They can go. Bhakti Manta was speaking, now. Bhakti Manta was speaking this way. So, it, so, those Grihastha devotees, how much powerful they are. I mean, real Grihastha. How much powerful they are. If you think you can go, if you have your, you know, thinking power, you can think. How powerful. They are Grihastha. All facility there, but they are controlled. Sivas Pandit, Sivananda Sen, Bhakti Vinod Thakur, how possible? Grihastha. They are staying all around, all, uh, you know, object of enjoyment, but still, they are controlled. Not a matter of joke. Those who are going to claim I am sannyasi, can they prove? Can they prove that they are sannyasi? They can become angry with me. I am speaking this. Bhakti Vinod Thakur is speaking this way. I am not speaking. Bhakti Thakur speaking, I can show you, Bhakti Thakur speaking, I am bound to speak this way, if it is going against you, please excuse me, I have nothing to do, I have no alternative. Bhakti Thakur writing an article, I have no alternative, I am bound to speak this way, if this vichar uh, is going against you, if you become angry, please excuse me, I have nothing to do, because I cannot speak lie now. Sannyas is not a matter of joke. Bhakti Mata was speaking, those who are entering into Brahmacharya Ashram, Sannyas Ashram, it is understood. Bhakti Mata was speaking. If you like to show, I can see you. I already published many times. Now, we are going to publish so many captions. Many, small, small. Because people not, have no time to hear. We already started long ago, but still we can do massive way. All small, small. So either two minutes, one minute, or uh, 50 seconds, they can hear, change their life. This is our... Otherwise, uh, we, thousands of Harikatha. But still, they have no time. But I can put guarantee, if they hear, they can go out of my... But they cannot hear, no time now. They have no time to read book, nothing, no time. So busy. So busy they are. So, Bhakti Mita was speaking, those who are entering into Brahmacharya Ashram of Sanyas Ashram, those who are prepared, those who are going to enter into Brahmacharya Ashram, Sanyas Ashram, it is understood that they are in such a position to take Sanyas. Bhakti Mita was speaking. Not that after second sannyas I fall down, oh, what to do, it can happen, so why? Bhakti Mata was speaking. It is understood that you are thinking, you are, you know, by the help of some sadhu, you feel that you should go and you cannot feel any problem due to maya. So you are, but now after taking sannyas, uh, 30 years gone, 20 years gone, you fall down. Oh, it's not. 
That's when you have done aparad. And fall down, many times I told me, people, foolish people think, fall down means woman association, not that. Fall down means woman is one, it's okay. But fall down that does not uh, mean only that uh, woman is. Fall down means Pratishta Joshit. Pratishta Joshit. Oh, so many Pratishta. I am the only preacher in the world. That's fall down. You fall down. People foolish, they don't know. They have no idea that fall down doesn't mean only woman associate. Fall down also can come through uh, Kamini Yoshit, Kanchan Yoshit, Mani position coming also for fall down. Pratishta Yoshit. But foolish world, they have no information. They are less interested to hear. It is the question of life and death. It is not the question of politics. It is not the question of fighting, infighting. It's the question of my survival, of my real self. So with this view, I can approach. We are busy with ism, this, that, fighting. They have no power to digest all harikata. So, Bhakti was speaking, when you are going to enter, step into renounce order, then it is understood that you are already qualified. You think you are, you have taken resolution, no problem concern. Over and again, you will have to think over and again before taking decision. Why you take decision? Follow. So, it is very easy to get it is very easy to come out of Maya by serving pure Guru Vishnu. We are not getting such scope. That is the main problem. Where you can find pure Guru Vishnu, who is not interested about money position. If you give some <laughs> some uh, dry bread, you can take and wave it. You can find. In the name of Jukta Vairagya, in the name of Jukta Vairagya, everybody busy with enjoyment. Full enjoyment. Even Ravan cannot get that kind of enjoyment. Ravan, Hiranyakasipu also, failure. But we can apply one word. Ah, Jukta Vairagya. And Jukta Vairagya not for you. Jukta Vairagya applied, applicable for Siddhar Goswami Maharaj. Kesha Goswami Maharaj. Pohupad. Jukta Vairagya not applicable. You are in the name of Jukta Vairagya, you are full. Uh, you are busy with la puja. You are, what is your duty? You show me what you are preaching. You show me what you are preaching. I like to hear. You show me. If you like to fight me, first of all, as you, I request unto your Lord, you show me what you are speaking. But okay, they can fly. They cannot come in front of me. I like to show what preaching you are doing. They cannot come. So this is their picture. So main point to go out of Maya is not such a big problem. But life after life we are busy to fight with Maya. Papa speaking, Papa speaking, life after life, life after life we are fighting with Maya. Only, only thing, we think this is the main, this is the main bhajan, not that. This is not the, we think this is a big issue. It's a basic thing. So, Prabhupada speaking, we think life after life we can go on fighting with Maya and this is called bhajan, not that. Anartha, after Anartha come, try to remember each and every word I am speaking. Same word Prabhupada is using. After cutting Anartha, after going out of Anartha, after cutting Anartha, what artha you like? After cutting anartha, anartha, what is the artha? Artha means what is your target? Krishna bhajan your target? Then okay. If not, then after going out of anartha, again you can become maya, <laughs> mayavadi this then. After anartha gone, if you are not going to serve Guru Vishnu, then again problem. I can in the guise of sannyasi acharya, big temple acharya, we can become Mayavadi. You don't know super fine Siddhanta Bichar. Who? Super fine Siddhanta Bichar. Life after life you have to wait to hear this kind of thing. 
super fine. Even your imagination can go up to that far. Your calculation can. After cutting anartha, what is your target? Baba speaking. After cutting anartha, what is your target? What do you want to do? That is the main issue, na? Artha papati. Bengali Sanskrit Papa speaking. After anartha gone, we need artha papati. Papati means the demand for artha Krishna prem should be there. Don't understand what I say. After anartha gone, we should develop artha papati. Artha papati means our target, our desire should strong desire to get that thing that highest target. So after anartha gone, after anartha gone, artha prapatti should be there. If not so, then surely you can become mayavadi or you can fall down. Even after going out of anartha, you can fall down. So how much attention you should give? How much attention you should give to get the lotus feet of Gauranga? You think about how much attention you have to give, how much dedication you need to get the lotus feet of Gauranga. Now, I was discussing about Guru Tattva, how to go out of Maya, but the sloka I started to explain a little bit. I like to speak more. So, Vedasthuti speaking, Bhagavan, those who like to get control over sense organ everything i mean go they like to go out of anartha uh, is almost next to impossible is is just like just like the effort to get control over a crazy horse and also it can be compared with one boat in the ocean Boat in the ocean, Bani Jamin, Bani Jamin businessman. So one businessman going to take all his item. All businessman, he want to load all his boat with all luggage. I mean the items he going to a you know sell, and after that he is sailing and going. In the meantime, there is a big cyclone is in the app a big problem. Bani Yeva Yasan Takit. What is it? That like the businessman with the boat, when he is going to face one cycle cyclone. In that case he is going, Oh my God, I lost everything. How to this guy? Follow. After that conclusion, I am going to cut short. Conclusion speaking, that if somebody can serve a pure Guru Vishnu, Bani Jaiva Jasant, Karno Dharo Jaladhu, in ocean, no controller, nobody there. Who can control you, save you? Now you are helpless. After that final conclusion speaking, only Gurosh Charanam. Gurosh Charanam, Shiksha Guru, Diksha Guru, both you can get. Batma Padasha Guru, all same in Chaitanya speaking. So, without taking shelter, so without taking shelter unto a lotus feet of, so without taking shelter, so without taking shelter unto a lotus feet of Sadguru, nobody can. This is the sloka I started with. Follow. Now, today is an excellent day. Excellent in the sense. Today is Guru Purnima. At the same time, Brajavasi, they are speaking Muriya Purnima. We say Guru Purnima. But Brajavasi, they are always making some uh, special meaning. 
they give him some nickname. They are speaking Muriya Purnima. Why? Muriya Purnima means to shave your head. Muriya Purnima means Mostok Mundon. Muriya Purnima means the day you will have to shave your head. Still today, they are going to shave their head, Brajavasis. Why? Because Swanathan Goswami gone from this material world this particular day. Swanathan Goswami gone from this material world this particular day. So, due to separation, those Brajavasis, they are crying and they are going to observe. Like in our Vedic culture, if father, mother going away, we will have to save our head. If father, mother going away from the material world, we will have to save our head as per Vedic culture. Outside people, they have no idea about that. As per Vedic culture, they will have to shave. If father gone, they have to save their head. Follow what I said. So, Sanatan Gosai gone from this material world. Due to this, due, due to this reason, they are thinking everything gone. Our father, Bare Baba, Sanatan Gosai, Bajavasi used to say, Bare Baba, Bare Baba, and Rupa Goswami, Chote Baba. Mane, elder brother, brother actually, na, Baba, Baba, Baba means Sadhu. They used to say Sadhu. Whole Vrindavan, whole Brajamanda. They are famous, Sanatana Gosai, Rupa Goswami. Sanatana Gosai is famous as Bare Baba, and Rupa Goswami is famous as Chote Baba. Follow what he say. So this way, this is the particular day when Sonatan Gusai left body. I saw all Brajavasi, they are going to observe this particular day. So they are observing this at Muriya Purnima and they are going to uh, do Parikram of Giriraj Maharaj. Now, particularly today, every day they are doing, but particularly today. Lacks of people doing parikram. I have my experience. What parikrama I can finish within four hours or maybe four or ten minutes. Maximum. Previously I used to do three hours complete. Three and a half hours. But now if I do so four hours. But particularly this day if you do parikram, you will have to you have to be very careful. Because you can complete this parikrama within 12 hours. Because thousands of people, where you can room? Lacks of people, na. Huh? If there is back end, I can run. No, you cannot run. Thousands of people, lacks of people. They are doing pretty well. So you will have to very, very, very slowly. So naturally it will take 12 hours. 10, 12 hours minimum. No vacancy. Oh, lacks of people. <laughs> I have my experience, I know. <laughs> so, how possible to do parikram? So, today is also Guru Purnim. Many devotees asking me, uh, Guru Purnim, Guru Purnima, why? Guru Purnima in the sense, the day, the day I observe Abhirvapthiti of my Guru Padma is also Guru Puja day. Guru Puja, na? Today also Guru Puja. Guru Purnima, Guru Puja. And when your Guru Dev took birth, you will have to observe. My Guru Dev took birth, you will have to observe. Sad Guru. So, particularly when my Guru Dev, uh, particularly that particular day, is very important for me because my Guru Padma appeared in this world. It's called Vyasa Puja. And today also very important day for me. Today, why important? Because today, we can worship the overall Guru Puja. Overall Guru Puja means undivided Guru, Guru Tattva. Guru Tattva is undivided Tattva, Adhoy, eh? non divided Tattva. Eh? That Tattva, I mean, is called Vashti Guru Samashti Guru. Best mean all India, all your individual, all your individual Guru Padma, your Guru, your Guru, your Guru, when 
took birth, according to that you will have to follow because, because Bhagavan Balaram came in the form of Bhakti Balakti Tukasimaj, in the form of Bhakti, uh, you know, began Bharti Maharaj or in the form in Siddhar Goswami Maharaj in different form. Guru Padma, I mean Balla, Balaji Maharaj, original Guru Tattva, original Guru Tattva coming here in this material world for the emancipation, for the salvation, emancipation of common people, bonded soul. They are coming. So today, that particular day, all individual, your Guru Padma, Abhir Bhakti, every, you are two of them. But today, is the overall Guru Puja, I mean, all Guru Pat Padma, the original sources, Guru Pat Padma is Bhagavan. So, it's called Basti Guru, Samashti Guru. So, there is Samashti Guru Puja, Samashti Guru, if there is, if there is four Sampradaya, authentic Sampradaya, try to understand. If there is four authentic Sampradaya in our, in our, in, on this earth, four, Ramana Charjo, Madha Charjo, Vishnu Sami or Nimbarka Chaja. Okay? Huh? And ours is in the line of Madhya Chaja, Madhya Guri Sampradaya. Direct link. Because particularly Chaitanya Mahaprabhu there. So it's 100% authentic. So today we can worship all Sadguru. Today we can have the opportunity to worship all Sadguru. All over the world, if there is any Sadguru, not Asadguru, with Chitar Guru, I am not speaking. And all Guru in our succession, previous Guru, previous Guru, previous Guru, all now, Jamuna Charjo, after Jamuna Charjo, uh, you know, some other people, do, uh, other men took, after that Ramana Charjo took, after that this success, you know. Like our Krishna, the Jodhunu, Krishna Sivan, this is success. So, all Guru Tattva, all their overall Guru Tattva is today. All four Sampradaya, wherever, wherever, when, how one Sadguru came, which part of the world, I mean in India especially, different part of the world, no, Sadguru did all took birth in India. All took birth in India. At present, I am not speaking, all Guru, previous Guru, all in India, especially, all. So, all for four Sampradaya, Nimbar Chajyo, Madhya Chajyo, Vishnu, Sami, uh, you know, Nimbar whatever. All, each and every Sampradaya, authentic Sampradaya, if there is so many Sadguru, successive order, previous, previous, all their overall puja is today. Today is the overall Guru Puja, I mean, all the source of all Guru Dev, all the source of all Guru, this source is called Samasti Guru Puja, overall Guru Puja today. So today is also important day. Today we cannot have any prejudicial conception, hey, my Guru Dev, your Guru Dev, no, no scope, because the overall Guru path. Today all I can give Puspanjali unto the lotus feet of Balaji Maharaj, the original Guru, and all Puspanjali, my Puspanjali can go to all the lotus feet of all previous Acharya Sadgurus. I can give Puspanjali to Balaji Maharaj, original Guru Tattva, and that Puspanjali can reach the lotus feet of all Sadguru. Follow. Today is the day. Now Sanatan Goswami path. Today is a Tiruvaptiti. Without Sanatana Goswami path, without Rupa Goswami path, we cannot even think about Gauri Sampradaya. Gauri Sampradaya, whenever you think, immediately we remember six Goswamis, especially Rupa Goswami, Sanatana Goswami, we, because their contribution, I cannot say contribution, their life is totally dedicated for the service of Gauranga. Not even a fraction of second in their life, not even a sec fraction of second in their life you can discover that they are enjoying. They are not enjoying. Full life. 
impossible for us to do. Impossible for us to do. So, it's really impossible. Even in dream we cannot see. This kind of dedica dedication is impossible to see. That is why in Saragosham is Takam it is written, Nana Sasta Vichara Naika Nipuna Shad Dharma Sangstapako Lokanam Hitikari Nauti Bhavane Manyo Saranyakaru. This we find or when Nidra Aharo Bida Biji and the Nidra Aharo Ki. What is that? I forget. I always speaking now. <laughs> so all sleeping. Eating all they forget. All they forget. All in Vrindavan, they are doing whole day and night, they are doing bhajan. Nidraharu vihara kaadi vijito chattanto dino chajo. Follow. Very, very polite, very humble. I am nothing. I am nothing. In this creation, what value I have? Nidra ahar bihar kaad vijito chattanto dino chajo. Very, very humble. No sleeping. No eating. Sonatan Gosai Rupadi used to take dry chana, chana, you know, grain, grain, gram, you know, what you say? Chick, chick, chick bit. Dry. No eating. How possible? Only they are hanging, they are taking one chicken. Yes. Yes. This is a... So, Nidra, Haru, Vihara, Kadi, Vijito, Chattanto, Dino, Chajo is impossible. They used to do bhajan this way. That time in Brajamandal was totally forest and forest. Very limited, you know, colony where you can find some rajavasas, you know. You can remember I started with one point. What is that point? So long as you are not going to get that kind of enjoyment at heart, ananda dharma. So long as the ananda dharma is not expressed, I told you in the beginning, you forget. So long as you are not going to, ex you know, you know, man you know, so long as Ananda Dharma is not going to express, manifest inside your heart, till then you are going to feel unhappy. How it is possible for Sonatan Goswami, Rup Goswami to this kind of bhajan? Because they are full of Ananda. Bhajan, no, bhajan, bhajan means even if some sadhu, I mean Madhavendra Puri was crying, that's when he is feeling full ananda. He is crying of separation, that is also inside ananda. That's why crying. Crying for material people, separate thing and follow, you say, what he say. So, Sanatana Goswami, one name. In Gorya sky, is a North Pole star. About Sanatan Goswami, Raghunath Das Gosai crying when gone. Jiva Gosai, Pad Raghunath, they are crying like mad when Sanatan gone. They are like mad. By the order of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Sonatan Goswami started writing so many books that time by the order of Sanatan Goswami. Because after meeting after meeting Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Sonatan Goswami, you know, there where? Where in Varanasi? 
in Varanasi, when Sanatana Goswami is going to meet with Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, that time there was one big discussion. Discussion, I can say, teachings. It's called Sanatana Siksha. It's called Sanatana Siksha. Sanatana Siksha is the most vital point. If you have no idea about Sanatana Siksha, Rup Siksha, Rayaramananda Sangha, that means you are blind. If, if you have no idea about Sanatana Siksha, Rupa Siksha, or Rayaramananda Sangha, then you are surely blind. You are useless. Without which, Gaudiya Bhajan is not possible. So after giving Shiksha to Sanatana Goswami Pad, at Varanasi, Manikarnika Ghat, Varanasi, there, after, for a long time, long time, one month, total speaking. After that, Mahaprabhu giving instruction to Sanatan Gusai, Sanatan, you can uh, compile Vaishnava Sriti, everything, and uh, different Shastra, so that people can know about pure devotional practice, total ideas they can have. At the same time, you can search out all important places almost missing in Vrindavan. Almost missing, no? All different places of... It was discovered by Sanatana Goswami. How much trouble now we are sitting in a library, compiling, okay, those sadhus, they are taking trouble, they are doing. But you can think what was the situation on those days. There was no books and papers, all in plum leaf. So you have to go like a dog here and there to collect all. Now we are doing bhajan, oh, you can sleep, get up and attain harikata. What kind of trouble? Still we cannot do. Cannot give time for Harikata. This is our situation. So, by the order of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he was ready to compile different Vaishnav, Sriti, Shastra, different things like Hari Bhakti Vilas, Adi, everything, all different books, Vyad Bhagavad, so many things he compiled. And at the same time, by the order of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he was ready to discover all different places. Places are there, but you have to discover. How to discover? How to discover? Suppose I, one example I give. You like to glorify Giriraj Maharaj. So, you will have to search all Shastra. You cannot see it in one place. You have to go and search, oh, what is written in this sata about... So you can find all glorification of, oh, Rasa Leela happened here. And, you uh, know, uh, so how you are? It was by the Kripa of Sanatana Goswami Pad, now we know what is original Gokul. We are not misguided. By the mercy of Sanatana Goswami, it was almost missing. Where is Brahmandagat? Where Krishna took mud? Where is he specifically told all by matching sastra, different sastra collecting, all different, then going to adjust, going to so how top job. On those days, at the time of Sanatan Goswami, there was five thousand five thousand eight kunda. Five thousand eight kunda. At present, even you cannot find 508 kunda. All going to get vanished. Even 508 you cannot get. 500 you can detect, but almost going away from this material. <coughs> On those days, there were 5008 kunda. Now 500 also you cannot find. All was alone. So how it is possible for Sunatam Gosai? Eh? To understand. Or oh, because Krishna uh, Rasa Leela, different place. 
in in a in in a Sarat Kal, you know, autumn, you know. That time the Rasa Lila was there at the bank of Jamuna, near Gopish Gopishar Madhi. At the time of Rasa Purnima, next Rasa Purnima, Basant Purnima, it was there in Govardhan. Or other time, time to time, different places of Rasa, I went there. Be in deep forest. You cannot go. Only if you can take risks of your life, you can go. But in my life, never even one ant didn't cut. There is full of snack. I mean, that's awesome. If you go there, you can fear how possible. Darkness, well, you cannot see your finger. Even you cannot see your own hand. So darkness. <laughs> they are sleeping. Open place. Yeah. So you have to take rest. Take, take. If you rely on Bhagavan, then Bhagavan can help you. Those who cannot take risks, they should, should not go. Yeah, their darshan is material darshan. There is no surety of prasadam. You have to fast. If you like to do parikram, if you depend upon prasadam, you have to go to village, you have to wake, stay there, waste stay of time. So, code one, one, one forest, code one, there is one Rasalila. There. Ah. For different, different places, there is different, different places of Krishna Dhan. So, how Bhimala Kund at Kamaban, how Bhimala we have no idea. We have no idea. We find one big pond. Oh, Sonatan Gosegadi, this is called Bhimalakund at Kambaba. Well, you know the glorification of Bhimalakund, Dharma Kund? Eh? Nobody have idea. Where is Kashi Vishwanath? We have no idea. Where is Kameshwar Mahadev? No idea. Where Panchapanda was in hiding condition? He was there in. Nobody knows. All Sonatan Gosegadi wanted to search all Sastra. Oh my God! Today, at present, research work is very easy. Very easy, no? If I like to do research on particular topics, then I have to approach. Eh? Then, they, if I request them, I am now going to do research on this subject. So, I like to see whatever research done by somebody before. They can open all chapter, all electronics. They can open all. They, they all done research on this subject matter. Now, you have to start afresh from this this onward it's very easy but on those days on on those days even if i speak about 40 years 50 years back 60 years back when i was very small baby that time there is no nothing no facility no facility so how it was possible for them to do I am thinking, each and every book you have to write. I can show you, Bhakti Muttagur writing, Bhakti Muttagur writing himself, that in Purushottam Dham, I got one book, it's called Abhedanta. Eh? I engaged somebody, I, 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 I already wanted to make it copy, because there was no paper. A paper was there at the time of Jibogo Senipat somehow. Dhulot paper. It is not actually paper. At the time of Bhakti Muttagur also, paper was rare, but still paper was there, little bit. But from Prabhupada, I mean, first printing work started in Bharampur, in British period. Petal press, like cycling. Like cycling. Petal press, it came in Bharampur. After that, Prabhupada arranged press here. So it's very tough that time. Very, very tough. So Sanatana Gosai took trouble to save us. I mean to save future generation. But if we are at all guided by Sanatana Gosai, Rupa Gosai, there is no problem. But in between, some demon coming to interfere. Never mind what I say. What I mean to say, if we are really going to follow Sanatana Gosai, Rupa Gosai, I mean, if we can follow Bhakti Muttagur, because to follow 
Because to follow Rupa Goswami, Paswanath Goswami means to follow Bhakti Mahatma, all the same. To follow Prabhupada, the Prabhupada, all the same. Because intact. Intact Chaitanya Mahaprabhu teaching, if Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is there in front of me, try to realize what I mean to say. If Chaitanya Mahaprabhu appear here, I like to take lesson from Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Still, you cannot get perfect because impossible for you. But if you go through Bhakti Muttagur and Prabhupada, then possible. Because Chaitanya Mahaprabhu can speak, but it is impossible for me to realize. It is impossible. Many, many times it happens so. Many times it happens so. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is speaking, but nobody knows. Many times, I can give you one by one example. Many times it happened so. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is speaking. Okay, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu speaking. But nobody understands. I can give one or two examples, then you can realize. Why Mahaprabhu going to sing that sloka, I mean from Kabba Prakash? Priyo Swayam? No. Priyo Swayam is written by Rupa Goswami. Another sloka is from Kabba Prakash. Mahaprabhu speaking. Nobody knows. Why? Hey, why speaking this way? From Kabba Pokash, Mahaprabhu speaking. But Rupa Goswami could realize. Oh! Then he is, wrote one nice sloka. Nice sloka. Priyo Swayam Krishna Sahachari Kurukhatta Milito Shaham Radha Tadidam Sangama Sukham. This way. When Mahaprabhu came in the Bhajan Kutir of Haridas Thakur, then looking up, the Bhajan Kutir is very is made of grass and everything. No? Oh, Mahaprabhu, find one plum leaf and one nice writing. Oh, what is this? Mahaprabhu getting. Oh, Mahaprabhu, automatically. Mahaprabhu was so happy, so happy that one embracing Rupapad, kissing him. So happy. So, what I mean to say? Prabhu can speak, but who can realize? When Mahaprabhu is speaking to Sarup Gosai at the time of Gundicha Manjan, your Gauriya are doing this you know, nonsense, you know? Then who can realize? Chaitanya Mahaprabhu speaking. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu speaking, no? you can realize what Mahaprabhu wanted to say. Nobody can realize. But our Guru Bhargava realized. Your Gauriya doing this kind of nonsense, you see, eh, in this day, you know, Jagannath Mandir, you like to wash my leg with water, eh, where I can go to hell. Eh? You are not looking, taking care. That means, our Guru Bhargava speaking, Mahaprabhu is going to indicate Sarup Gosai, he was responsible for whole, he has the sole authority to get control of. Now nobody control it. If one, I say, Chaitanya Bhagavad there means Chaitanya Mahaprabhu there. Chaitanya Bhagavad means Chaitanya Mahaprabhu there. If one genuine sadhu, all over the world at present, somebody can understand he is genuine sadhu, still they cannot follow him. They can realize he is a real sadhu, but nobody. They can fight and kick him because of politics. Because politics is more predominating factor in our life. They can realize, oh, he is speaking uh, exactly. Yes. They cannot follow. They can kick him. Follow. There is a condition. But that time, situation was different. That time, whole Gauriya Sampada was under the control of Saru Gosai. No telephone, no mobile, no TV, no computer, nothing. Nothing was there. We are equipped, we are equipped with all modern advanced technology. Still we cannot do it. Oh, headache now is too much trouble. Translation is very tough. Hey, Maharaj, if you don't speak two hours, half an hour, one hour is more practical. <laughs> Somebody speaking, too tough. Our brain, you know, and I say it's very good. If you engage your brain, 
Then you can develop power, <laughs> but now too much power. Brain become blocked. <laughs> Translation. Follow what I say. This is the condition. So, how it was possible? There was no modern equipment, nothing. But everything was smooth. So, there was no mobile, no telephone, nothing. But Sarup Gosai was the sole authority of whole Gauriya Vaishnava Sabha. After that, Sanatana Goswami and Rupa Gosai become the Rajpatra. The king is Chaitanya Mahapu, Rajpatra means the main representative, Rupa Sanatana. After Rupa Sanatana gone, then Jiva Goswami Pad become, Loknath Goswami, Jiva Goswami Pad become. After that, time after time, changing, changing. Now, Bhakti Mani Thakur, I mean our Prabhupada, everything. I told at the during uh, Corona period I spoke the Prabhupada and his unique Acharya Sip seventy four or seventy six Harikatha. Each Harikatha two hours. And also I spoke about Vishwa Vishnu Brahsava. Vishwa Vishnu Brahsava. So many things I discussed long ago. So now there is no controller. Now there is no control. Bhakti Mnathaku writing so many things, I can publish it. Mane, now it is my target to make clipping. Bhakti Mnathaku told all countless. I, I was thinking, this way people cannot give time. I can speak all what they told, but still they have no time. So I will have to mane, give energy to make clipping. That's more practical. All writings of Prabhupada, Bhakti Mantra, Kesar, Mara, Siddhama, thousands of clippings from today onward. We are already doing for the past uh, five, six years. But still we can do massive way. This way. Follow. So, Bhakti Mantra already told, Bhakti Mantra Thakur, Bhakti Mantra Thakur expressed, Bhakti Mantra Thakur expressed too much concern about the peasant situation. He could realize, he could realize one and a, 150 years back, Bhakti Mata could, could realize this kind of situation going to arrive. And 150, 100, 150 years back, he told. All he forecast. Bhakti Mata requesting all Acharyas. You should be authentic, you should follow the rules and negatives and go to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, otherwise, you have no right to give diksha, everything, Bhakti Mato. I can publish it. Countless I can. I can go on publishing. Almost every day. Follow. Big, big article, people not reading. We are publishing. Countless articles and all. But people not reading. No time. There is a condition. So, 150 years back, Bhakti Mato. As Swanathan Gusai was already expressed concern 500 years back. That's why he wanted to control the Vaishnava Samaj by writing different Vaishnava Sriti rules and regulations, how to give Diksha, whom to give Diksha, who is authorized to give Diksha, eh? all, but who care, man? Bhakti Uttar writing. The Sanatana Goswami, though Sanatana Goswami already wrote, but in, 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 no, nobody going to put in impl implementation is not there. Bhakti Uttar writing. Sanatana Goswami gone means everything gone. Darkness. Darkness, all darkness. Raghunath Das Gosai crying. Raghunath Das Gosai crying heavily and praying unto a lotus feet of Bairagya Yuga Bhakti Rasam Prayatnai Rapaya Yatmam Anavipsya Mandhyam Kipam Budiriyas Sanatana Tampahu Masrayami. I can explain someday, time is over, excessive time. So, excuse me, I have to stop here. Bijitari Sikha Vaya Viradanta Munasturagam Jaya Jatanti Yantumati Lola Mupaya Kido Vyasana Satamrita Samabahaya Guru Charanam Banija Ivaja Santakrita Karana Dharaja Lodham 
वाछकल्पतरोषिक पाति तानंग पावन भो विष्णु नमो